In this video, we're going to be talking about the best places to buy real estate in Stanford, even if there's a real estate crash. Now, as you guys know, there's the whole Roni Rona situation, as we're talking about this in every video currently. And I can't say this name because YouTube will do a lot of problems. So I'm saying Roni Rona. And it causes a lot of problems. Okay, it's causing a lot of unemployment, it's causing a lot of businesses to go down, it's causing also the real estate market to uh, have some changes. Now, we can't predict the future, we can't say if there's going to be a crash, how big is it, is the price going down, up, or what's it going to be, but we can give you the best places to invest in um, if there is a crash or if prices go down. So... Here are the different places in Stanford. Now, before we get started, please, as usual, like this video, comment on it, tell us what you think, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot, the YouTube algorithm, and liking it takes exactly one second. So, let's get started. Stanford, just like every other historical British city, has a lot of unique uniquenesses. In its neighborhoods. However, apart from the city center, most of the areas with strong real estate values are found in the surrounding villages. Rental yields at the city center are at a rate of 1.75%, while outside the, uh, the city center is 3.35%. The cost of renting a one-bedroom uh, one in the city center and outside the city is 658.33 and 484.17 pounds respectively okay and all this data you can find as well inside tictachouses.com so that's the website simply go to Tic Tac House. you're gonna see different cities different countries all the different information you need regarding real estate uh, investing tips what mistakes most people do and the best uh, data regarding different uh, cities around the world okay so Similarly, the cost of renting a three-bedroom in the city center and outside the city is £964 and £687.5, respectively. The cost of an apartment in the city center is £7,500 per square meter, while outside the city center costs £2,850 per square meter. Below are the best places to invest in Stanford. First place, Historic City Center. Okay, now I'm not going to read every word, but you can check the article. It's going to be uh, linked in the description of this video. Next place is Ketten. This is a village located three miles west of the city of Stamford. The town has a population of 1,926 residents, according to the 2011. Because this is probably there is more now. Okay, we've been uh, 10 years almost after that. Carlby, Barnack, and Eppingham are the last places um, in Stanford that you should check out and you should start invest in Stanford if you know the area, if you did your due diligence, if you understand the UK market and with the rise in property value and affordable average home property prices, Stanford is surely worthy of a real estate investment. Now. That was regarding different places you should invest in Sanford. Of course, again, I'm going to say it. Do your own research. Check out um, the area before you invest. You should not only do your investments based on one article. But if you want to learn more about real estate around the world, real estate in the UK, real estate in Sanford, real estate in London, whatever you want, uh, go to the description, there'll be a link to this article, tictachouses.com. You can see the different videos. We have a YouTube channel with over uh, 150 videos. You can check them out. Please like this video. It takes exactly one second and it helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So give a like, smash that like button as people like to say, and we'll see you in the next video.